Hey guys, I'm LB. We're back playing the Talos Principle. We are going to solve this puzzle, I hope. Last episode we went around the back and found the QR codes there. Multiply impossible ascension. Wait a minute. Hey! This is familiar. I think this puzzle was in the demo. Yeah, I think I saw Quick Save Dave play this one. Dude, yeah, this is bringing back memories. This is totally in the demo. Alright. Oops, comma. Alright, a box. Come on. Where do we want... for that to be useful at all, which we can get. I think. Yeah, okay. Oh man, there's... <laughs> yeah, I remember this now. Definitely familiar. Time in a while, I've seen a jumping puzzle. See, what would we need this for? Higher if it's got multiple boxes. It will. Okay. That's cool. Okay, cool. Got really high walls everywhere, just to make sure you can't get the laser out, I guess. I like this part of the song. Let's see, so, let's see if we can figure out how to get the star.
from here is beautiful. It seems superfluous to the process, yet I am drawn to it. I don't remember reading that. Maybe. Let's get in there. Uh, which way shorter? I think I'll just go back the way I came. I- my fingers are getting really tired from hitting shift all the time. Let's go to... Keyboard and mouse, configure keys, sprint... Doesn't look like anything's on Q. There we go. Much better! Except, I can't sprint left. Ah oh well. Yeah, that's the limitation of my keyboard that I have, so... I can't hold Q, W, and A at the same time, it just doesn't work on this keyboard. What do you know? Yeah, check that out! Alright, well now we have this. What color laser do we need? Blue? Yeah, blue. Looks like it wants us to get an angle through here. Okay, well let's try that. Go get our star. Can I read this? Child programs, positional values moved outside the parameters of the known world. Don't listen to what they're saying, this world is dying and it'll take us with it. You've got to find a way out. to get. Like, some of the other stars in this game are like, I have no idea how to even begin. And I see the stuff that I would need to access to do some of them, but it doesn't make any sense. I still don't know what this is. What would happen if I put the, um... The laser redirector on it.
done everything except for that weird use thing. Where do we want to go next? To two? I've been keeping a list of stuff that I've noticed watching back my videos. Puzzles that I want to return to and, and try things that I haven't tried yet. But let's go to two first. I might have an end of the game spree where I can go to. Chaos is that which existed before time. When the words of a story lose their meaning, when actions cease to have purpose. Know that only faith can protect you from this peril. Here, in the Garden of Worlds. Interesting. So as I was saying, I think maybe near the end of the game, I'm gonna go back to puzzles that I wanna try stuff in, get the stars and all that. Family. For those of you who have faithfully followed this blog for the last five years, I just wanted to give you one final update. I'm going to spend my remaining time with my family. Yeah, I know, I know. There are probably 50 plus posts about all the problems I've had with them. But in the end, they are my family. They are the people I grew up with, the people I care about, the people I love. Sure, they annoy the hell out of me, they said awful things to me, and I said awful things to them. But that doesn't change who we are. In fact, if we didn't care about each other, this stuff wouldn't upset us. Do I still think they were wrong? Yeah, absolutely. Would I behave differently if I thought we all still had a lot of time? Definitely. But we don't, so I'd rather spend a couple of weeks sitting on the porch with my parents and my sisters than being angry and alone. Besides, it's not like we're going to fight about my job prospects anymore. If you can, try to make peace with those you love. It's your last chance. Thanks for reading. Yeah. Something is going horribly wrong with the human race. You know what the oddest thing is about all this? We're not constantly fighting, having nervous breakdowns, screaming at each other. We're actually really polite and focused, and we spend most of our time debating the nature of humanity and how we can best succeed at probably the most ambitious thing anyone's ever tried. Like it was completely normal. Like that's just how people are. I feel like we've turned into Star Trek characters or something. I guess, what's the point of doing anything else? Getting angry isn't going to help. But I didn't expect to feel like this at all. And you know what? It's awesome. Many greetings and good luck, Alan. Yes, love from George. It must be something that takes a while, because if it was happening quickly, I feel like everybody would descend into chaos, but this is something that happens over the course of weeks, and it's not like a zombie outbreak or something, then that would explain it, but I, we still don't know what exactly it is. Oh. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Money. What? <laughs> Money. <laughs> Money. <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Money, money, money. This is a weird Easter egg. I don't even know what it's referencing. But I know it's referencing something. Uh, okay then. 
Interesting. <laughs> uh huh. Question. Suppose everything here serves a precise role in some grand scheme. How would we explain that? It's obviously like a digital time capsule. An electric library of all the crazy stuff the humans ever did, left behind to warn other species to stay well away. So what happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. They existed, and then they didn't. And they probably wouldn't do it all over again. Huh. That's kind of a pessimistic way to look at it. Elohim is inconsistent. I don't trust him. Yes, man. <laughs> well, this... Okay, that's just... nothing. I have to say, I love the music in this game, and these little moments where I'm exploring... In an environment, and maybe you find something like a paint bucket, you know? It really adds to the experience. Can I paint inside here? I can! <laughs> uh. I mean, can I paint on the window? Money! <laughs> Money! <laughs> I'm rich! <laughs> Money! <laughs> Money, money, money. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can't even see it. It's just black. Wow, okay then. <laughs> money. <laughs> That's, uh, interesting. I don't think anybody will ever find that. Unless they watch this video. Alright, what was I gonna do? Let's check out the square puzzle. A ditch and a fence. Huh? Ooh, this is... Interesting. Looks like there's... If we were... Wait, what? Oh wait, is... Um... Is that how we just get back out? What's the purpose? What's the purpose of this? Why would they want to make it hard to get objects here? I wonder. Huh, oh well. No! No! It's a stupid... Oh. Hey! I know exactly what this is for. Surely it's not that simple, right? Surely not. Why can't I... this? I'm guessing that I can't walk on top of this, maybe. Would I not be able to stand on it? Does this, like, extend higher than it looks or something? Yeah, okay, that's what it is. Alright. Alright, alright. I will see you all in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike. It's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!